So many Johns. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Today we have a really special show. Oh yeah? Why is that, Brandon? Because we're learning what it means to keep going when things get tough. So. We're going to be doing an obstacle course. An obstacle course? That's what I said. Today, we're going to be traveling <laughs> off site. <laughs> I was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> ah, I just, it's, it's just Brandon. I can't do it. Why? What's the matter? <laughs> what? Ow. Come on. Here. Sorry. <laughs> It goes back to when I was a kid. Hey, check it out. I'm going to make the jump. Whoa. Hey, everyone. Look at John. Dude, totally rad. Look, he's not going to jump. You're right. He's too scared. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> you are too. Come on. Let's grab our Trapper Keepers and go to Blockbuster Video and rent Back to the Future Part 3. Uh, oh, hey, I want to watch. Not until you can finish the obstacle course. Uh, finish the obstacle course. Finish the obstacle course. <laughs> finish the obstacle course. Finish the obstacle course. Finish it. <laughs> finish the obstacle course. Finish the obstacle course. Finish the obstacle course. Oh, I can still hear the words echoing in my memory. No, that was me. You should finish the obstacle course. That way you can get over your fear. It's totally safe. When you fall, you land on pads. Uh, no, but what if the pads move? 
Or, or, or the pads are worn out? Or what if someone in this place didn't spikes under the pads for some reason? That is a huge liability it's issue. Just, it's just extremely scary. It is, but I know you can do it, buddy. You, you just have to push through that fear and, and, and know that even if you've fallen before, you're gonna be okay. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah? Yeah. You and me. Let's go. All right. No, this way. Okay. Just, yeah, come on. Here. Okay. You sure it's not the other way? No, yeah, I'm sure. That's where I wanted to go. No. John, you didn't finish the obstacle course. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm not. No? No, because I tried. I, I, I've been letting this haunt me for all these years, but never again. In fact, from now on, I'm gonna say yes to a lot more. Hey, oh, what is happening? One of our so-and-so show players didn't show up today and we need someone to play John. I'm a John? Cool, you, now, let's okay. go. Come on, okay. here, put this on. Uh, oh. Let's go. All right, yes. Yes! Uh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, uh, where's John? Oh, someone dressed as a temple guard just took him. Well, I bet the so-and-so show players can clear everything up. I hope so. Today's story is from the book of Acts also known as the Acts of the Apostles. It covers what Jesus' followers did after Jesus' death and resurrection. And here to help tell the story are the so-and-so show players. <laughs> Two of Jesus' apostles, Peter and John, were doing good works in Jesus' name. One day, on their way to the temple, they encountered a man who could not walk. Alms. Alms for the poor. Alms. Oh. Alms for the poor. I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Oh. Oh. This is incredible. <laughs> wow, how did you do that? The surrounding crowd was amazed. Yes, yeah, me too. Why does this surprise you? It's not as if we've healed this man by our own power. God has done this. He's brought glory to Jesus. You, come with me. Oh, do I? I, I follow. Peter and John attracted the attention of the high priest Annas. They were brought before him. Annas was so upset by what they were teaching the people. Now listen here. My understanding is that you healed a man who now walks. <laughs> I can do more than walk. <laughs> I can step touch. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> yeah. By whose power do you do this and through whose name? Uh, are you asking me? I, I, oh. Do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? Then listen to this. You nailed Jesus to the cross, but God raised him from the grave. It's through Jesus' name that this man stands healed in front of you. <laughs> I can do more than stand. Can this wait? It can. Okay. <laughs> what were you talking about? Uh, about Jesus? can't be saved by believing in anyone else. God has given people no other name under heaven that will save them. Yeah. I need to confer with my fellow priests. 
Go away. <laughs> Annas and the other leaders saw how bold Peter and John were, even though they were ordinary men with no training. And they saw that the man who couldn't walk had been healed. But Annas and the other leaders still didn't believe in Jesus. And they were worried what would happen if word about Jesus began to spread. So they called Peter and John back. Okay, look, here's the thing. Don't talk about Jesus anymore. And no more of this raised from the dead business. Cool? Cool. Oh, do I have a line? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay. Um, could you cue me again? Don't talk about Jesus. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Which is right from God's point of view. Huh? Should we listen to you? Hmm? Or should we listen to God? <laughs> I mean, I mean, why would I not talk about Jesus? I mean, I've seen what he's done in my own life. I've seen what he's done in other people's lives. He can give you courage when you're scared to try things. He loves me even when I mess up. He died for me. I mean, <laughs> why would I keep that to myself, you know? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, you're acting. Yep. Sorry. <clears throat> There's nothing else we can do. We have to talk about the things we've seen and heard. Okay, now listen. We're going to set you free, but just stop. Or the next time, we're going to do something something else. Now go! <laughs> Annas, are you watching? Annas, Annas, are you watching? The end. Great job, everyone. Let's give it up for the So-and-So Show players. Peter and John had to be scared facing down powerful people like that. But they knew it was right to tell people about Jesus, so they kept going. In our lives, we should do the right thing too. Not because it's easy, but because it's right. Whether you're standing up for someone, or having a hard conversation with a friend, or even overcoming a fear, we can keep going even when it gets tough. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, bye. <laughs> How did it feel being a so-and-so show player? You're like a celebrity to me now. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you know what? It was a little scary at first, but I didn't give up. No, you kept going. No, I sure did. Want to keep the show going? I sure do. Reveal the question. Today's question is, when have you decided to keep going? I know what my answer is going to be, but what about you? Yeah, for you, it could be something that's hard in school, like math or spelling. Or a sport, like swimming or jacks. For me, it can be hard to do the little things. Uh, even coming here every week is hard sometimes. But, but then I think about all the people who watch this show and the fact that I get to hang out with my best friend, and it gives me what I need to keep at it. Buddy, that's lovely. Thanks. Yeah. Now, it's your turn for an answer. When have you decided to keep going? Right now. Obstacle course, here I come! All right, that's yeah. the so-and-so show, everybody! Come yeah. on! All right. <laughs> Over here, John. What? Over here. Why do I keep walking I away? I don't know. I don't know. From it. It's like I... You got this! You scared me. <laughs>